All right. So if you are sitting at uh, your desk, as I always say, have your feet flat on the floor. And the reason for this is because when you start to cross your legs, across your ankles, and uh, you're uh, changing the energy flow in the body, you also don't get to feel the ground underneath the soles of your feet, which seems to be kind of important. It just helps to get us grounded. So if you've got anything on the going on right now that's kind of spinning you out, it's really good to kind of, you know, get right down, go for a walk, feel the feet on the earth, smell the fresh air. Just get connected to the earth and know in your heart that everything is going to be okay. So shoulders are aligned with the hips and ears are aligned with the shoulders and uh, lengthen your spine. And take a nice deep breath. And just imagine that spine is a string of pearls of light. And you're stretching from the base all the way through. So you just imagine the sacrum lengthening, the middle back lengthening, your middle thoracic lengthening. And it's not a force, it's just very gently lengthening. So if you have any kinks in your spine, imagine them all unraveling. And you're just getting longer, spacious. Imagine your neck unraveling. And very gently allow your ears to glide back in line with your shoulders. And finally you get to the top of the spine. And you can imagine that string of pearls as light is going up through the crown. Maybe somebody is holding that string and just very gently lengthening you. So now at the same time, relax, release any tension in the crown of the head, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, back of the head throat, back of the neck, and just allow the shoulders to, to drop down, release the chest, the belly and all of your limbs, and breathe, just notice your breath. This is uh, probably the most intimate relationship we will ever have, the one that we have with our breath. And then uh, notice if there's any sounds in your environment. So of course here it's raining, so I can hear it drips on the deck outside, on the roof. The heater is on. But then just allow the mind to be aware of these sounds and then bring your mind back to the breath. So trying not to allow the mind to get kind of run off with all these different sounds. Because then, of course, what happens is we start to create stories. We breathe. And then just be aware of what is actually arising in the mind this morning. So are you thinking about where you're going after this? What you're doing after this session? So try and keep your mind in it, in the session. You're doing this for yourself. So try not to allow the mind to run away with its stories projections, opinions. The mind is like a monkey. It's a wild elephant. And sometimes it's a bit like a, a dark alley. You perhaps don't want to go there unattended.
So whatever is going on, just observe. Watch it. Look at it. Examine. And look at it with curiosity. That's the best attitude to have what's, with whatever's going on in the mind. It's like, oh, this is happening today. Yesterday it was totally different. Yesterday I was freaking out. But today I am looking kind of happy. Hmm. It changed. So then, um, particularly for this Medicine Buddha, bring to mind all the people of your life, the ones you love, the ones you, you, you know, don't find them irritating. You notice that will change as well. And then there's our strangers. And these relationships shift and change and ebb and flow due to impermanence, due to our karma. And the karma that we have created in the past with all of these different people in our life. So the ones that we have, you know, good and positive relationships with, you know, there's a lot of merit there. We've been kind to each other in the past. So we keep creating that kind of merit to have that kind of relationship by generally being kind to people. And then think they're all equal and they wish to be happy, they wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So we're going to do this medicine Buddha practice this morning. Keep in mind um, Hin as well, Shaila. And um, Mary's friend, and we specific Mary specifically requested it for her friend. So I'll share the medicine Buddha image. And with these images, you know, we have this. Um, it's not a picture so much. Try and imagine the Sambhavakaya aspect, which will be, you know, um, light body. So imagine in front of you, or well, sorry, actually, no, this one is above the crown of the head, a couple of inches facing the same way as you, sitting on a moon disc, and this rests at the center of an open lotus. So the medicine Buddha has his legs crossed in the full lotus posture and is facing the same way as you are, as I said. His body is made of this beautiful royal blue light. So you can also think of it as the color of sapphire. Sapphire comes in different uh, qualities, different grades of blue. So it's kind of like a <clears throat> uh, maybe a deep blue crystalline, radiating, reflecting. I think that's why they use this analogy of a crystal. And every aspect of this visualization is made of light. You know, the, the lotus, the moon disk. You've just got this light body above the crown of your head. Now his right hand is resting on his right knee uh, the back of the right hand in the gesture of granting sublime realizations and is holding the stem of this aurora plant, which is a medicine plant, between his thumb and his first finger. His left hand is in his lap in the gesture of concentration and he's holding a, a lapis bowl filled with nectar <clears throat> and he's wearing the three saffron robes of a monk and has all the signs and marks of a fully enlightened Buddha. And his face is peaceful and smiling. He's looking at all living beings in the universe with compassion and loving kindness equally. 
no critical thoughts, accepting everybody exactly as they are. So let's just for a moment, <clears throat> just meditate for one minute, really trying to get the essence of the energy of this medicine Buddha above the crown of the head. And if all that detail is way too much for your mind, you can't remember it, just imagine a ball of blue healing, very loving light above the crown of your head, an energetic ball. Really notice, uh, feel, try and feel the peace and emanation, peace and and love, compassion, kindness, healing energy emanating from the Medicine Buddha. And maybe a wish for yourself to become imbued with these qualities of the Medicine Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. So just imagine infinite rays of radiant white light flowing down from the heart and the body of the medicine Buddha. And just imagine this light fills your body completely. And it's purifying all disease and all afflictions. And all of these are due to your delusions and karma. And, the, and you know, and the mental obscurations. And imagine that all these negativities leave your body in the form of thick, back, thick black liquid like engine oil. And your body becomes as clean and clear as crystal. And... Um, just imagine that all of the other beings, all the people of your life, all the sentient beings around you are also being purified in the same way. Raja Samangate Soha Taya Taon Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Taon Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Taon Bekanze Bekanze 
Mahabekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Bekanze Bekanze Mahabekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Now, this time, imagine the light flowing from the medicine Buddha fills your body and it brings all the realizations of the path to enlightenment and all the qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And you can also imagine the same thing is happening to all other beings, all those people of your life. And for those of you who have friends who are ill, well, I just read that Anna is not very... Hasn't been very well either, so imagine for Anna, for Sheila, Shayla, sorry. <clears throat> and you can imagine the same thing happens to all other beings, all those people of your life and the strangers, all the little squirrels and the rats and the mice and the spiders, and feel that you and all the other beings have actually received all these excellent qualities and that you have received the blessings and the inspiration of the medicine buddha so really try and imagine that's happened oh tayata bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze Raja Samangate Soham Tayata Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soham Tayata 
Bekonze, Bekonze, Moha Bekonze, Bekonze, Raja Samangate Soham, Taya Taum, Bekonze, Bekonze, Moha Bekonze, Bekonze, Raja Samangate Soha Taya Taum Bekonze Bekonze Moha Bekonze Bekonze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Taum Bekonze Bekonze Moha Bekonze, Bekonze, Raja Samangate Soham, Taya Taum, Bekonze, Bekonze, Moha Bekonze, Bekonze, Raja Samangate Soham. So now imagine the medicine Buddha melts into light, just kind of absorbs into you through the crown of your head and down into your heart chakra. And your mind becomes one with the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. So let your mind rest for a while in that state that's completely clear and peaceful and free from its usual busy thoughts and conceptions. And really try and feel that this is your true nature. And just uh, allow your mind to expand.
اه Okay, let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy um, that we've generated doing this meditation, that it will bring true mental and physical health and happiness to all sentient beings and be the cause for their eventual enlightenment. Thank you, everybody. And uh, thank you so much, Mary. Mary, your friend's name just kept dropping out of my brain. It's Lonnie. Yeah, okay. So let's dedicate for Lonnie and Hin and Shayla and Anna. Says she hasn't been well. <laughs>